Hallo zusammen. Today I, a German native speaker, will react to the diehard German scenes, meaning Hans Gruber and his evil dudes speaking German, more or less, dare I say. They give their best, of course, but let's look at this from a linguistic point of view for you guys wanting to learn German or finding out more about the language and how it works. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Before we're gonna dive into a few scenes of Die Hard in German, stirb langsam, die slowly, rather, instead of hard. In the English, the original American English version, so to speak, it's Hans Gruber. He is a German. But in the German version of Die Hard, stirb langsam, Hans Gruber is a British terrorist called Jack Gruber. Let's check out what he and his companions have to say auf Deutsch in German. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer taking part in this. Rechts und wieder links. Links, rechts und wieder links. Very good job at that, actually. There are two major types of H sounds in the German language. A lighter one, H, corresponding with lighter vowels, and a more throaty, darker one, H. In the context of rechts, rechts. that's the lighter one, rechts. And he does a really good job at this. Hey, Bruder. Moment. I basically noticed the same thing in my Inglorious Bastards reactions in terms of, you know, linguistic explanation and analysis. Hey, Bruder. Bruder. It almost reminds me of French, having a French accent while speaking German. Slightly off there. It's der Bruder, singular, die Brüder, plural, the brother. And in both terms, both the singular and the plural term, you might have heard something because the ending is slightly different here. He said, Bruder. You know, er. Hey, brother. Moment. Brother. Nein, 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 warte doch nicht. One job. Nein, nein, nein. No, no, no. <laughs> ah, I love it. The exclamation, Moment. Hey, brother. Moment. Is a short form of saying, Warte bitte noch einen Moment. Please wait another moment, right? Don't do it yet. For der Moment. Singular. Die Momente. Plural. The moment. Das tat weh, that hurt. Very minor detail, but very common when it comes to German words with a double consonant and a vowel in front of it. And because schnell, fast or quick features a double consonant, the vowel before it gets verbalized very short. You know, it's schnell. May actually be a good mnemonic for you guys. Just think about the term schnell, quick, fast. And the pronunciation also has to be schnell. schnell. Schnell! Schau dir diese Brüste mal an. And he trilled the R slightly in Brüste. Which is something that you may associate with German, but in actuality, it's not really typical for standard or high German, you know, the standard form of German, standard variety. You may find that in certain dialects, for instance, in Bavarian dialects. So usually Germans would say Brüste. There is a slight trill in there, Brüste, but it's really slight though. And then he, if I can make it out right, he said something like, Ist das doch der Wahnsinn? The thing is though, the word order is slightly wrong here, because the way he says it basically resembles a question. Ist das doch der Wahnsinn? But Germans wouldn't ask that question that way anyway. I guess he wanted to say it as an exclamation sentence, you know, with an exclamation mark. Das Ausrufezeichen at the end. And in that case, it would be, Das ist doch der Wahnsinn. That is just madness. Der Wahnsinn. Das ist doch der Wahnsinn. And not, ist das doch der Wahnsinn. Because putting the verb, in this case it's the auxiliary verb, ist, at the start of the sentence, is typical for a question. And also, in both cases, by the way, this sentence contains doch. And once again, coming back to the two types of ch, you know, those sounds in German. In this case, it's the more throaty one. So it's doch, because o is a dark vowel. Doch basically works as a modal particle. Das ist doch der Wahnsinn. Underlining that it's a 
big form of madness, you know? Das ist doch der Wahnsinn. Can you believe this madness? A security guard we missed. Usually tied up and just very fat on a pension. No, no, no. This is something else. Was hab ich dir gesagt? Was hab ich dir gesagt? Ich will, dass es keiner sieht. First of all, big love for Alan Rickman. Very good delivery. There is one thing, once again, pointing this out because I guess it's quite common when people try to speak German or learn German for the first time. His Ich is slightly throaty. Was hab ich dir gesagt? Was hab ich dir gesagt? Right? It's only slightly there, but otherwise his whole presentation really accurate. And he even does something that is typical for colloquial German. Was hab ich dir gesagt? He drops the E at the end of habe. Was habe ich dir gesagt? He says, was hab ich dir gesagt, right? Which is very typical for colloquial spoken German, but you can also find that in written German in a colloquial context, for instance. Was hab ich dir gesagt? Was hab ich dir gesagt? Of course, you can say it both ways. Was hab ich dir gesagt? Was habe ich dir gesagt? Haltet sie zurück. Haltet sie zurück. The way he says it is, haltet sie zurück. Haltet sie zurück. First of all, the A in haltet is a little bit too strong and it's zurück with a z sound and not z, the soft s sound, which you can also find in many German words. The z is almost always sharp in spoken German, especially at the start of words. And in this case, it's zurück, back, you know, hold them back. Then again, though, the enunciation of the umlaut ü Ich sage es zum letzten Mal. There he did it really well at the beginning of sage. Ich sage es zum letzten Mal, right? So it's not sage or sage, like sharp, but it's sage. That is the z. Thanks for watching the first part of this. There's at least going to be a second part, maybe even more in the future. We'll see. If you want to learn more about the German language and culture with these types of videos, feel free to subscribe, to like, and of course, you can also support me on patreon.com slash definitely. That is a great help. So thanks for watching. Definitely see you next time. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. Bye bye.